Item number SCP-5051 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Investigation into the original purpose of SCP-5051 is to continue. Description SCP-5051 is a remote, concrete structure in Siberia of unknown purpose. Externally, SCP-5051 is of a similar construction style to Foundation Provisional Buildings of the 1950s. Internally, SCP-5051 possesses no abnormalities except for a former broom closet lined with containment grade alloy blast shielding. SCP-5051 appears on no foundation lists and no record exists of its construction or former staff. No identifying material remains except for the words SCP-5051 written on a sticky note on a door and a broken foundation ID reader at the door to the broom closet. Entering the broom closet causes inconsistent memory loss, the instant's formation of burns on the head and confusion. The broom closet is otherwise found to be empty. Opening a damaged wall revealed the personal storage vault, which contained a personal foundation issued tablet. The tablet appeared to contain no data. However, personnel affected by SCP-5051 claimed to see several files existing on the tablet, which they transcribed to the best of their ability. Item number SCP-5051 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-5051 is contained in an isolated chamber in the lowest floor of Provisional Site-273. Further data regarding SCP-5051's containment is restricted to operative personnel directly in contact with SCP-5051. The identities of these personnel have been removed from the main Foundation database. Sapient personnel are not to come into contact with SCP-5051, nor become aware of SCP-5051's nature or identity, except by direct assignment by the SCP-5051 project head. Description Analysis of the tablet is ongoing. Access granted. This is the file for SCP-5051. If you're clear to read this, you are now on the SCP-501 team, and your predecessor, me, is dead. If not, I tell you to stop reading now, but it's probably too late for you anyways. Welcome to Site-97, and for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Item number SCP-5051 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-5051 is contained in an isolated chamber in the lowest floor of Provisional Site-273. SCP-5051 is to be contained involving as few humans as possible. Currently, this is achieved with a staff of one person, the caretaker, caring for the SCP-5051 full-time, with assistance by automated systems, which the caretaker must also be able to maintain. Replacement of SCP-501's caretaker is to be undertaken via standard foundation, blind leading blind protocols, ensuring 
that only the replacement and the person who initiated the replacement are aware that the operation concerns SCP-5051. Research into preserving or encoding further information about SCP-5051 is encouraged to continue. Maybe you won't always have to be alone. Upon induction as SCP-5051's caretaker, all personal history is to be erased, and any personal items with a sentimental connection, specifically identifying the caretaker, are to be collected and destroyed if possible. SCP-6465 has been placed within Site-97 for the purposes of medical self-diagnosis and longevity, and has been removed from the Foundation database and the numbers recycled. When SCP-6465 indicates the candidate is nearing the end of their lifespan, the candidate must initiate the replacement process and self-terminate within room 101 in Site-97. The next candidate must then clean and repair Room-101. Description SCP-5051 is a humanoid figure exhibiting a powerful teleohazard. SCP-5051 corrupts any ontological connection or relation between it and any person with a relationship specific to it. Example, e.g. SCP-5051's mother, SCP-501's neighbor, SCP-5051 researcher. The degree of this corruption increases with the length and depth of the connection between SCP-5051 and the target. The connection also does not need to be mutual. Connections that only one of the two knows exist have also been affected. The corruption of these connections manifests as the gradual replacement of shared history. Sentimental items, keepsakes, and mementos generated over the course of the connection lose distinguishing information, degrading into featureless orange orbs. Further corruption results in even shared memories degrading, with the other person only able to recall the image of the orange orbs when pressed about shared events or links to SCP-5051. When this connection ends in any manner, SCP-5051's effect annihilates all evidence of the connection outside its own mind. All of the orange orbs detonate explosively, as does the connected person. Additionally, the resulting conceptual crater prevents any information about or from the connection from being retrieved. Interview Log 5051-A Begin Log Caretaker Hello, 5051. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. That's the thing, I don't either. And even if I made up a new one, you'd probably forget it eventually anyways. Are you sure there's nothing you remember? Anything deep down in there from your past? I already told you, it's all gone, wiped clean. You don't have to do this, you know. Do what? Try to engage with me, or be my friend. Well, what else am I going to do? You can never come in here like the last one did. For nutrition, do all the maintenance while I was asleep. I wouldn't... Uh, wait, you remember the previous caretaker? No. Then how did you- I don't remember anything about them. 
but I know I'm older than you. So obviously I've had one before you. I can't consciously remember the previous ones, whoever they were, but I know they existed. Yes, but how do you remember their behavior? The crater they left wasn't as big. When someone leaves me and everything goes boom, I feel it every single time. It's like a missile strike inside my brain. It burns just trying to remember anything about that person afterwards. Because the metaphorical, or maybe literal, crater is still hot. And the closer I was to that person, the bigger the explosion. I don't want to get you hurt. I see. Why are you recording this anyway? It'll be gone when the next person comes. Interview log 5051-B. Begin log. What do you want? Hey, 501. I've got some questions for you. Fine. Do you have any idea how long you've been in here? I... no. There's something tripping me up about all of this. You mean besides being trapped with me in the vault and becoming a ticking time bomb? Y yeah besides that. Shoot. There's no harm in telling you this. When I got recruited or assigned to this, the document said that someone had to initiate the replacement process before they died. But how did the first person set up this secrecy in the first place before they forgot everything? Interview. 5051-C. Begin log. File is heavily corrupted. Only visible object in frame is an orange sphere. Two voices are heard, one of which is similar to SCP-5051's. The toy says I've got about a week left. <coughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I tried to fix this. All I did was make it worse. You know, he used to tell me not to say things like that when he first started here. I did. I can't remember. I know. I wish there was a way to save any of this for the next person's sake. Are you worried? Not as much as I thought it'd be. But won't it hurt you? It doesn't matter, John. You won't be around to know anyway. And I'm already starting to get used to it after so many times. How... <coughs> How many? Fifty. Fifty-one, maybe. Wait. What? Wait, 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 wait. That can't be right. Well, I've been here longer than you. You forgot I don't age, didn't you? And you've only been here a fraction of that. Yeah, about ten years. No, wait. You shouldn't be able to remember that. Who started this whole protocol anyways? I don't remember names. Wouldn't whoever they were count as my warden or something? Did you ever feel them go boom? You can't expect me to keep track of every single explosion. They all blur together after so long. But if you didn't know about it, then they would have also not had to know about it. And that's possible with amnestics or even weirder stuff we have around here. You're saying... How old are you? I told you I don't remember. Exactly. You haven't been in here for centuries. Even if I accept for a second that that's true, what difference does it make? It makes all the difference. You scare me now. I'm 
sorry. I just need to 